Hey guys, let's take a look at your Cougar 336BHS bunkhouse fifth wheel. Up front you got a molded fiberglass cap. Got a mirror to look in down into the bed of the truck to hook up to your uh, pin box. We got a spare tire in here as well as a new 12 volt battery installed for you. You've got a prep here for uh, solar if you ever want to go ahead and uh, use solar panel to keep your batteries charged. We've got your leveling system which you're going to find right in the pass-through storage. Quick reference on how to operate that system. I'm going to send you some videos as well on how to use it as well as troubleshoot it. Both of the propane tanks have been filled up for you. you got some cool little storage hidey holes here. We'll get that sweeped out for you. Black and gray tank pull valves. Uh, we've got hookup for hot and cold water shower. Uh, sewage flush system to flush out that black tank. And then hook up for uh, your city water connection. Prepped for satellite uh, cable if you'd like. And then this is your quick battery disconnect. Just turn that on and it'll start drawing from your 12 volt battery. Uh, quick connect coil hose for that hot and cold water shower. Down below is a container uh, opener. Open that up and that'll allow you to bring the utilities up and in and be able to close this slam latch storage door and lock it. Down below you're going to have the release point uh, for your black and gray tanks and access to your water heater. Take a look at the rest of this beautiful camper of yours. Tandem axle. You do have a second drain off point and some pull valve right there for you. Frameless windows on this Cougar model so you don't have any seals around it. You do have a fill station here for your fresh water. So if you're running off your holding tanks, we're going to fill them up there. 50 amp service cable will attach on the back. You have a cargo rack or bike rack, however you want to utilize that. Ladder to access your walkable serviceable roof. And then coming around on this side, we're going to have your outside kitchen. Let's go ahead and open that up. Nice big fridge, some great storage space in here. A hot and cold water on the sink. Some nice storage and a, that is there. Power awning on the slide box here. And you're going to have a second power awning. All the LED lights are on. More access to your pass-through storage. Uh, we have here your uh, electrical adapter and sewer hose. Uh, so that way you can use those if you go to a 30 amp service station. Coming upstairs you'll have your fuse panel and breaker box. You'll also have a detector for CO2 propane. Coming in you're going to have your thermostat for your heat and AC. Fan controller for the fan up above. And then you also have a remote control to be able to operate. Oh, here, let's get your all your zeros in for your lights, your levelers, and your slide outs. And if you want to do it manual style, you also have this cabinet here to be able to check your tank levels. Turn on your water pump if you're running your onboard holding tank. Uh, gas and electric heating elements for your water heater. Some lighting, all four of your slide outs, and power awning. Coming upstairs into the master bathroom. Foot flush on your porcelain toilet. There is a latch here on your shower. Go ahead and make sure you latch that up just to keep the shower door from popping open if you hit too many potholes on Michigan's fine roads. Linen closet, wardrobe slide out. You do have a prep station area for a TV if you want to put one in, or a second AC if you ever want to install one there. Got some charging stations over on this side of the bed for USB and just a regular old plug-ins. Under bed storage. The heating and AC is ducked in here as well. And coming down into the kitchen. Got your keys. Gas and electric on your refrigerator. There's a little push button on the handle here to open that up. Oh, it's cold in there. We got closed. Three burner cooktop. Light and hood on. Fan. Oh, there's 
crypto. Crazy amount of pantry space. On your center island, you do have a sink cover. Underneath storage for a garbage can. And quite a few pull-out drawers. Electric fireplace. Sound bar. CD DVD player with radio. TV's installed. Hey guys. The bunk room, you got a flip-up bunk on the far side. Jackknife sofa down low. Wardrobe and TV installed. AC and heating is also ducked in here as well. LED light switches for your bunk room. Trifold sleeper sofa. And your booth seating. That right there is your Cougar. 336 BHS bunkhouse tra uh, fifth wheel. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. If you have any questions, give me a call. April Welch at Lakeshore RV 231-638-7750.